Hi, it's Mr. Anderson and this is Chemistry Essentials video 48. It's on energy transfer or how energy gets from one place to another. And a great example of that is in a four-stroke engine, so in an internal combustion engine. So if we start at plain, uh, what really is going on is that we're taking in gasoline and air into a combustion chamber. There's an explosion which drives the piston down turns a crankshaft, we're also get ridding, getting rid of that exhaust, and what it's really doing is transferring the energy in that gasoline into mechanical energy of the movement of your car. Now we lose a lot of that energy to heat, um, but what we're really doing is moving energy from one place to another. And so imagine we have two systems, and that system one has more energy than system two. If they're ever connected, we can transfer energy from one to another. Now the one we talked about in the last video was thermal energy, or energy transfer through what's called heat. But we can also do work, which is really applying a force over a certain amount of distance. And so that could be mechanical in nature, electrical, light, or it could even be chemical in nature. And so what we're really talking about is how we can move energy from one place to another and transfer that energy. Now in this chemistry class, you're really only going to do calculations related to volume change. And that's why I started with that internal combustion engine. As we change the volume inside that combustion chamber, we can do work based on that. To show that energy transfer, I want to start with a PHET simulation. And so in this simulation on the left side is going to be the source of that energy. Then we're going to convert the energy in the middle and then you can think of this as system two over on the other side. And so for the first parts of the simulation we're just going to be heating up water. You'll see increases in temperature but what you're really going to be able to see is how energy is being transferred from one form to another. And so we're going to have five different forms of energy from mechanical all the way down to chemical and remember that heat or that transfer energy through heat is going to be thermal energy. And so let me start it plain. So what we're doing is releasing mechanical energy from the water which is turning a turbine and converting that mechanical energy into electrical energy. It's running a heater which is heating up that um, water. Now let's say we change that source of energy to solar energy. Well it doesn't do anything until I add a solar panel and now it's going to convert that light energy into electrical energy and that electrical energy again is going to heat up the water and you can see that the amount of energy that we have is being conserved. Now let me add a little bit of steam so we're getting the mechanical energy of the flow of that water molecules, a lot of thermal energy, and now that's turning a turbine again, which is creating electrical energy and that electrical energy again is heating up that water. We're getting higher kinetic energy in the water and we're transferring the energy in heat as heat. Now let's put this uh, girl on a bike and what she's doing is converting chemical energy inside her body into mechanical energy. We're giving off some of that energy as heat but that again is turning a turbine again. Oops, we got to feed her and give her a little more chemical energy and we can make that water boil or we could transfer it into a light bulb where we're heating up that filament. You can see thermal energy and then we're giving light energy back again. As long as we keep feeding her everything is going to be good. And so through this simulation you can see that we're transferring energy. We're transferring that energy either as work or, or a force applies over a distance or we're releasing some of that energy as thermal energy or heat. And so in thermodynamics, which is really what this unit is about, what we're dealing with is transformations. Transformations that involve work, heat and the transfer of energy and that's really what thermodynamics is. And so if we were to look at that piston again in that internal combustion engine, what's going on? Well, we're changing that chemical energy that's found in the gas and the compressed air inside that combustion chamber and we're transferring that into mechanical energy or work. And so what really happens in that piston is we have an explosion. And what that does is convert that chemical energy into the energy of the expansion of those molecules. And so what it's really doing is work on that piston and it's driving that piston down. And then this occurs over and over and over again. And so did you learn to relate the magnitude, how big it is, the type and the direction of energy transfer? Now what do we mean by type? Remember that type could be energy transfer through heat or it could be energy transfer through work. And also did you learn that the energy is going to be conserved? Well I hope so and I hope that was helpful.